Good morning all. Today we are going to study about principle of DC motor. So a DC motor is a device that converts direct current or electrical energy into mechanical energy. Mm. There are two conditions which are necessary to produce a force on conductor. Okay. So the conductor must be carrying current and must be within a magnetic field. So let us assume mm, Let us assume uh, two poles first. Magnetic poles alternate north and south pole. North and south pole. And there will be magnetic field. These field poles are excited. And the armature winding is placed on it. Just assume this is conductor AB and this one is CD. Okay, magnetic flux is produced here and there should be, a, that means we have to convert that input electrical energy into mechanical energy. So, to produce a pulse on conductor to rotate, the conductor must be carrying current and it must be within a magnetic field. Okay, let us assume we place these conductors and the um, current direction on AB is outward and current direction on on CD which is under south pole is under inward direction. So we represent outward current as dot and inward current as cross. Okay. So the poles experienced on these conductors can be expressed as whenever current we are applying a current, the input energy which is applied to the armature that means the current flowing a DC current will flow through this winding. So when current flowing through this winding, it experiences a force and the force exerted upon this conductor can be expressed as F is equal to B I L where B is the density of magnetic field and I is current and mag uh, L is the length of, uh, I is the value of current flowing in the conductor and L is the length of conductor. And the direction of motion can be find out by Fleming's left hand rule. Okay. Fleming's left hand rule. Direction of induced EMF can be find out by Fleming's right hand rule. We have already studied in uh, generator. So here it is to find out the direction of motion um, by using Fleming's left hand rule. So, consider a magnetic field and consider coil on in a magnetic field of flux density B and when the two ends of the coils are connected across a DC voltage source, that is a current is flowing through it and we taken the direction under conductor AB as uh, outward and in CD as inward. Okay. So a force will be when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force. A force is exerted on this coil because of the interaction of magnetic field. So in electro interaction of magnetic field and electric field. So the force on the two sides of coil is such that the coil starts to move in a direction. Okay. So by Fleming's left by applying Fleming's left hand rule, we can see the direction of force which is uh, on conductor AB will be in the direction of upward by applying Fleming's left hand rule on CD conductor CD we can see the force will be in this direction so uh, in a armature there will be numerous conductors so total force collectively this force will be in the direction of clockwise direction, total resultant torque produced on armature will be in clockwise direction. Okay. Now, when we consider the same machine, north and south pole, and the conductor, now the conductor rotates 180 degree, that means the conductor CD comes under this pole, north pole, and conductor AB comes under south pole, and there will be 
magnetic field lines okay so we know that we, the input is a unidirectional current dc motor so dc voltage is the input so we know that the current direction on cd is on inward direction and current direction on our ab is outward direction so what happen this will again produce a force which will be um, in this direction and in opposite direction so what will happen total collective torque produced will be in anti clockwise direction so when the current produced will be in anti clockwise uh, means when the total torque or force produced will be in anti clockwise direction which is opposite to the initial position that means the resultant torque will be equal to zero and we namlu kodukkun armature winding il kodukkuna current unidirectional aanu appo current on cd will not change in namlu assume cheyana means ipo idile ee machine il adhe same current thaniyana cd and ab ilude flow cheyundengi current direction same a irikum so according to the current direction with, uh, and the magnet according to fleming's left hand rule when we take the direction of force it will be like that so it produces a force on anti clockwise direction so anti clockwise direction lor force 180 degree after produce ede anya what happen uh, initially it is on clockwise direction then it becomes anti clockwise direction that means it cannot produce what it cannot produce a torque continuous torque because both these torques uh, when the conductor starts rotating it produces a torque in one uh, clockwise direction and after 180 degree it produces a force on um, torque in anti clockwise direction so the resultant torque becomes zero so we uh, what we have to do to produce a continuous torque on a dc motor that means and the conductor under north pole will produce the uh, conductor under north pole should produce a current in a direction outward and con conductor under south pole should produce a uh, current direction as inward then only it can produce uh, the force torque in a direction that means um, now when we apply after 180 degree also this is cd and this one is ab ab and cd that means initially here initially ab uh, and cd is in this position now after 180 degree rotation cd is coming under the influence of north pole but the current direction is outward that means if any uh, conductor which comes under uh, north pole should have the direction of current outward and the conductor coming under south pole will produce downward direction then when we apply fleming's left hand rule again the uh, force produced on north pole will be in this direction and force produced on south pole uh, conductors will be in this direction so collectively the total torque will be in clockwise direction so now this step um, you see if we produce the current uh, current reversal when the conductor starts rotating uh, it when it comes under north pole it should produce a current in upward direction and when conductor reaches at the influence of south pole it should produce a direction inward that means a current reversal should be there then only it can produce a collective torque otherwise uh, if we um, consider these two cases first and um, if if the universal current is flowing through that coil then uh, then it will not produce a collective torque okay so there should be a current reversal in the conductors how can we produce current reversal by using commutator we have studied commutator 
in a DC generator. What is the function of commutator in a DC generator? Commutator produce and commutator will convert AC into DC. But here the function of commutator is to convert uh, convert our unidirectional current into AC. Okay. We know that uh, brushes are used to collect the current from the DC generator. But here our input is given to the armature winding through brushes. So our supply voltage is applied through the brushes to the commutator segments. Each of the armature winding is connected to the uh, connected to each commutator segment. So this armature windings gets the supply through brushes and commutator. Okay. So number for DC generator and DC motor the same machine than constructionally both are same. Ella part of the same one. What the difference is the number of the input voltage uh, in the motor the number of input voltage on apply the input voltage DC input voltage on the other for a directional than another current flow chain the thing is our motor or a torque produce sail upon the end of an or a current reversal out of now current reversal produce a thing in a commutator segments that means number through brushes input voltage apply the commutator segments are in a and direction change under north pole very more direction under south pole very more current reversal some work and give my term as an author continuous torque in the same direction produce same otherwise both the torque will cancel each other and collectively result in torque zero I go so there should be commutator segments to produce a current reversal on armature windings okay then so when a field magnets are excited, uh, magnetic flux will produce and the armature conductors are supplied with the current from a DC supply and the current in armature conductor under north pole is we taken as upward and under south pole is inward. So here as current carrying armature are placed in magnetic field, they experience a mechanical force and which uh, here we just in clockwise direction first we consider in clockwise direction and these forces collectively produce a driving torque which sets the armature rotating okay and to obtain a unidirectional torque the current through the armature must be reversed as it passes from one pole to another pole so this is done by commutator so Otherwise, it produces a reverse, uh, reverse torque, so it, the resultant torque should be zero. Okay. Then, as, as the armature starts rotating, what happens? An induced EMF will be produced in the armature conductor. So, we know that arm, uh, if we consider a motor when the armature starts rotating this, uh, we have already studied whenever there is a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field it experiences a tor uh, force and there are numerous armature conductors on our on our armature so collectively it produces a torque when it starts rotating and in dynamically induced EMF is produced in the armature conductor. So, the direction of induced EMF which can be find out by Fleming's right hand hole. We have already studied an induced EMF in armature winding can be uh, the direction can be find, by, find out by Fleming's right hand rule. So, that is in an outward direction. That is in direct opposition to the applied voltage. Here, V is the input voltage applied to this motor and the current input current is our uh, IL and current flowing into the armature is IA and current flowing to the winding is taken as ISH. Okay. Opposite direction I have generator because generator delivers the current 
out to the load but here v is our input so if the direction of v is uh, and when we apply a voltage on this the current carrying conductor will experience a force and also when it starts rotating through a magnetic field the armature cuts the magnetic flux and it induces an emf in the armature conductor ibideyum ibide rate of change of flux karanam or induced emf undaikam when the armature starts rotating it will produce an induced emf so we call it as eb we call it as eb but the direction of that eb is opposite to that input voltage v so eb ki um, input voltage v ki opposite direction la na back your emf produces so we call it as back emf so it is known as back emf and also we call it as counter emf back emf or counter emf back emf and counter emf okay so its value is given by in a generator we know that rate of change of uh, flux will produce as an emf and the equation for eg is given as what here it is called as back emf eb phi p n z by 60a we know that what is phi flux on the um, anti um, anti poles and p is the number of poles and is the speed of rotation z is the total number of armature conductors k is the number of parallel path so the applied voltage v has to force the current through the armature conductors against this back em of eb and that means നമ്മൾ കൊടുത്ത ഇൻപുട്ട് വോൾട്ടേജിന് ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് ഒരു ഇ എം എഫ് ആണ് ആർമേച്ചറിൽ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സോ ദാറ്റ് വോൾട്ടേജ് വി ഹാസ് ടു ഫോഴ്സ് എ കറണ്ട് ടു ഫ്ലോ ദാറ്റ് വോൾട്ടേജ് വി ഹാസ് ടു ഫോഴ്സ് എ കറണ്ട് ആർമേച്ചർ കറണ്ട് ഐ എ ടു ഫ്ലോ ത്രൂ ദിസ് ആർമേച്ചർ കണ്ടക്ടേഴ്സ് എഗെയിൻസ്റ്റ് ദിസ് ബാക്ക് ഇ എം എഫ് സോ ദിസ് ഇലക്ട്രിക് വർക്ക് ദൻ ഇൻ ഓവർകമിങ് ദിസ് ഓപ്പോസിഷൻ ഈസ് കൺവേർട്ടഡ് ഇൻ ടു മെക്കാനിക്കൽ എനർജി developed in armature okay so this electrical energy which con uh, converted into mechanical energy that is the function of our motor dc motor so this rotating armature generating the back em of eb which is equivalent to a battery of em of eb connected across a supply line so we can represent this as a voltage source in opposite direction of the supply voltage so this is back emf so my mainly the working principle of dc motor is it converts electrical uh, electrical energy into mechanical energy and the direction of rotation of the motor is find out by fleming's left hand rule namma epolu orka faraday's law of electromagnetic induction aanu namma um generate and the working principle so motor arm when a current carrying conductor plays in a magnetic field it experiences a force and all the total conductors will produce a collective torque and the uh, magnitude of that force is f is equal to d i l and the direction of rotation is find out by fleming's left hand rule here but in generator induced emf is produced and this induced emf is eg and the direction is uh, find out by fleming's right hand rule okay so thank you this is the basic working principle of dc motor